All right. Hello, everyone. Uh, this is my first time doing a live sculpting tutorial. Okay, this is a horn of a mammal. Ibex, yeah, Ibex, Nubian Ibex. I will going to show you how to make Ibex horn. Okay, we will start by making the wire, reinforcement wire, reinforcing wire inside. And I use file to file it and make the tip pointy. This file is very helpful to me for all my creations from scorpion stingers to proboscis of other insects and crickets ovipositors and and this time this is this one is for horn this makes it more stronger okay just like that but i have made one before this one I bended it according to the template I followed the original photo of an ibex and that's it now as we prepare this wire this is actually a three millimeter wire three millimeter wire okay now, I use Sculpey Primo. I mix white and black of Sculpey Primo, a little more stronger type of clay. Just roll it out. To make a noodle, thick noodle of clay. And then, to take the measurements, the horn I use this kind of technique I press the tip and roll it up to the base where I want it to be take your scalpel and trim and that's it I hope it has I got the same size of my previous horn and yes looks like perfect and then what I do is I did a shallow incision in the center but not all the way through okay not cutting it all the way through. Oops. I'm also recording it. So, I, just a moment. I gotta fix my camera here. Okay. So, are you being able to see it, guys? Okay. For all the viewers, please send your hi. Okay, and now it's time to uh, wrap the wire with the clay. Just opening it like this. Actually, Ace of Clay, Mr. Anthony, is doing the same thing 
in his techniques. I always watch his videos and very helpful. So I do the same thing here. Just wrap it like that. Don't worry about the fine the basic shape, just put it there. It will come later on. It will come out later on. Hello everyone, come on. Enjoy the sculpting process. Here, this is just a basic one. I made these horns first and later the, the, the whole body. Anyway, I still can get the pro proper proportion because I have the templates in my computer. Oh, hi. Hello, <clears throat> Mr. Curve. Yeah, yeah. Wait. Welcome, welcome to my live first live tutorial. Oo, naka-break ako. Eh, sinamantala ko ng pagkakataon. <laughs> Ayan, medyo uhulma-hulma lang muna tayo. Pampalipas oras. Shout out kay Clever One. Please guys, watch his tutorial as well. He, he's a good sculptor. He usually do action figures and um what's called that dc marvels check his uh, channel guys huh he's a good sculptor also he just recently started as well Okay, now, oh, my mobile recording, recording, recording. I do the both things to get same thing together. Recording and live streaming because I'm going to upload this tutorial process later on. Or on Friday, supposed to be. Ah, look at this, guys. This sculpting tools is I just personally made out of regular silicone sealant that the, we use in our sinks, home sinks and any households, windows like that. I just mixed it with cornstarch and set it like that. I did my personal shapes. I have the spoon shape one here and the flat chiseled one. And I have also made some pointy, pointy tip. And what else? Ah, this one. When I'm making like a chicken skin, uh, curves. Ito yung sinasabi ko sa yo na pwede kang makagawa ng chicken skin effect or mga kulukulugo ng mga palaka. Ito siya. Ang ginagawa ko ganito, I would like to demo it a little bit. Okay? Let's say this is Okay. Ayan, diyan. Here this guy, for example, this is the back of your, let's say, gecko. I'm sculpting gecko. And then I use these sculpting tools that I made by adding a little amount of clay on the tip.
If you're an artist, really, your workplace becomes cluttered. More cluttered. Okay. So, as you can see, Brother Curb, I pressing it lit a little a thin amount of clay on the tip already. Okay. Not on the on the body. Okay. I'm pressing it because it has these uh, holes indented in the tip. Okay. So I fill them. You need patience for this. But the result is outstanding. Standing. Tumudulas lang kasi silicone. Ayan. Okay. So, kung ba, nalagyan na. Ang dulo. Okay, kita? O, oh, ito na yung katawan ng halimbawa ng gecko. May mga bukol-bukol yun eh. I dudutut mo siya. Okay, ayan. Gaganong-ganong mo siya. Gentle lang, gentle. Maiiwan ngayon sila. Ayun. Kita? Ayan, naiwan sila. Hindi lahat, pero ayan, ayan. Mga nag nagsasucceed naman. <laughs> Nalagyan mo lang palagi. Kuha? Ay, ganun din. Same process. Hanggang sa mapuno mo siya ng kulugo. Ayan, kita. Pag binrush mo yan ng alcohol, if you brush it with alcohol, it will become smooth and even. All those rough edges. Example, eh, babrush ko na siya ng alcohol. Ayan. Kunti lang. Bawal masabaw, brother curbs. Ayan. Konting-konti lang. Ayan. Kuha. Gede ba? Nag-smooth. Kita ba sa camera ko? Bahala na. Ayan. Pati fingerprint tanggal. Dahan-dahan para hindi matanggal yung mga kulugo. O yan. Mga tagyawat. Yan. 90% alcohol. Yes, kahit anong alcohol. Kahit gin. Kahit gin pa yan. Ayan. Oh. Ano bang kinagamit mong pampakinis, Brother Curb? Ayan. Konting ayos-ayos lang na ganun. Oh, meron ng bukol-bukol. Kaysa isa-isa yung mong bilog-bilogin yan sa kamay. Yeah. Basta yung brush mo, huwag mong baba rin ng masyadong madaming alcohol. Kasi mabilis mag-absorb ng alcohol itong mga nylon brush na ito. So, kung baga konti lang, parang masama-masa lang. Kasi importante pa rin yung nahahagod ng mga buhok. Yan. Yung mga rough edges. Para maging smooth siya bago mo ibig. Please, hindi ka na mag... Dililiha dyan. Oh. Kita. Dagdagan natin para maganda tignan. Ito, marami tayong oras. Dagdagan natin yan. Mga invento lahat ng mga tools ko dito. Eh. Almost 80% of my tools are just modified. I made it myself. Do it yourself as they called it. Because here in Saudi Arabia, it is very difficult to find specific tools for a specific job. So, dapat mala Leonardo da Vinci ka sa pag-iimbento. Oo, tipid nga. Ito siya, no? Dadagdagan natin para maganda tignan. Mm-hmm. Ayan. Ay. Konting galaw-galaw para dumikit. Ayun. Di rough siya ng konti. Ano? Yung mga edges na dug yung mga dugtungan. 
Ganun pa rin, same process. Pwede minsanan na lang, paglalagay ka lang ng lagay ng kulugo, minsan, ito sa i-clean mo ng brush na may alcohol. And that's it. Magpara yung edges ng bola. Yung bawat bola, <clears throat> yung bawat edges nito, yung, kasi may mga rap yan eh, pag diniin mo. Magiging smooth sila. Yun. Ayan. Naisip-isip ko ito ang tagal-tagal eh. Sabi ko pa paano ko gagawin ito. Ayan. Naimbento ko na minsan. Kakaisip. At ano pa ba yung isa dito na tools? Yung para sa kaliskis naman ng ahas. Atin yun. Ayun. Wala siyang handle. Nice. Di ba lulubog yun? Medyo mawala sa shape. Mm, kailangan medyo magaan ka lang. Ano. Kaya ang gawin mo, pag sinake mo na yung body niya, halimbawa, medyo ta- kapalan mo na. Kasi sa bawat push mo, magsisink yun eh. Oo. Pero kala- kontrolado pa rin ang kamay mo. Katulad nito, tingnan mo, medyo parang nagsirink, ay na gano'n siya, nagsink. Di ba? Pero pagka sinunod-sunod mo naman niya sa tabi niya, magpapantay-pantay din naman lahat sila. Oh. Halimbawa, dito nilagyan mo pa ng ganyan. Magpa-plat din yan sa, sa tabi-tabi lang. Basta malapit lang ang ano mo. Mga ganyan. Pwede nga lang din siyang idiretso na ganito. Kasa masyadong mababaw yung mga may iiwan niyang dot. Eh, meron siya na iiwan pero ang mababaw. Tingnan mo. Parang kang gumagawa ng balat ng rhinoceros or dinosaur. Eh sa gecko kasi medyo bump, bumpy yun eh. Ayan. Okay. Mabalik tayo kay sungay. Ay, teka yung ahas pala, no? Yung kaliskis. Eto, eto. Ginawa ko rin siya. Ayan. Ahas. Sa mga ahas, ayan. Kaliskis. Pwede rin sa isda. Idadat mo lang din siya. So, pwede na diretso to. Hindi ko na nilalagyan ng... Ayan, o. Oh. Nakiiwan siya ng kaliskis. Kita? So, ang bawa, dadamihan ko. Pero may pattern yun. Nakikita mo yung curve niya. Ay, yung arco. So, yung pre, dapat pare-parehas yung arco ng kaliskis. Kung saan sila nakaharap. Hindi naman kailangan ano yun, masyadong uh, ano tawag dito? Masyadong litaw yung kaliskis. Yung tamang ano lang, texture. Kasi kung may foil naman sa loob yung gagawin mong ahas or isda, hindi yan masyadong lulubog. Makakatipid ka pa nga kasi thin-coated lang siya ng clay. Okay, kita mo ba? Ayan, isya siya. Iyano ko sa shadow ng konti. Kita ba yung kaliskis? Effective. Ah, anong pinangpoke ko? Okay, good question. Eto. Nasaan na? Ang mahiwagang... Nasaan? Para ako si Doraemon dun ah. Nasaan na? Is barbecue stick lang yan, kapatid. Ayan. Ang gagawin mo lang sa barbecue stick ay ganito. Kuha ka ng cutter. You take cutter. Englishin ko kasi baka may manunood na iba. Uh, using a cutter. Okay. But make sure you only cut the stick. Not your finger. Okay. Igaganon mo siya. I- 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 parang magkakat ka ng slant. Pa-slant ng konti. Okay. Kailangan maganda yung matigas-tigas itong bamboo stick na to ah. Okay. Kita ba? Nakikita ba sa camera? Ayan. Dalawa kasing camera ko eh. Okay. Okay. Okay, may pa-bonus pa talaga ako na demo eh, no? 
<clears throat> okay, ayan. So, meron ka ng pa-slant na cut, no? Kita mo, curve siya sa dulo dito. Ito, ang pinang-dut-dut ko doon. Halimbawa, ito yung, ito yung silicon na ginawa ko. Pwede sa clay to eh, actually. Pero ang silicon kasi, dala ng flexible siya due to its flexibility that when you push it over the surface of the clay, especially the polymer clay or any type of clay, it will leave all that details more effectively. Hindi siya nag hindi niya nire-resist okay, yung clay. It doesn't resist the clay. Okay. Eh, yan siya, no? Kita ba? Ayan. O, oh, yan. Kita, no? Idudududud mo siya. Mag-umpisa ka sa ta taas. Pababa. One. Alternate yon Kung saan nandun yung dulo nung kaliski. Ayan. Basta alternate yung kaliski. Ayan. Ganyan. So, ganun din. Parang nag assemble ng hollow blocks. Ayan. Ayan. Alternate, alternate, alternate. And then, that's it. Kung hanggang saan yung kaya nung space. Copy? Ayun, ganun siya. Nung kaya pa dito nung isa. Para pag ano, yung dugtungan nung bawat ano mo, the end. Maganda. May, yung transition. Total. Pag malilit naman na details na ganyan. Pag nagsama-sama. Hindi na siya halata. Lalo pag napinturahan. Okay, ayan o. Oh. May kaliskis ka na. Then pa dry, dry mo lang ito. <laughs> Tat tali, no? <laughs> okay, ayan. Ang mahiwagang, ano ba tawag dito? Stamping tools. Magkakulay, no? Ay, paborito kong gray, eh. Ayan. Pero ito po ay... This is clay, this is just a demo, and this is a silicon mixed with cornstarch. Okay, ayan sila. Mabalik na tayo ngayon. Let's go back on our ibex horn. Ibex horn, ano bang big? Basta ibex horn. We don't have like this in Philippines, but I'd like to use the model alone to... Educate children to see it, to show them, for them to be able to see it. So that's why I'm doing it realistically. All the anatomical, as you can see here, even the ridges on the back of the horn and triangularity. Natama ba yung ano ko? Triangular. Hindi siya bilog. It's not just a round one. Ernest Walter Lian. Ah! Welcome, welcome, Ernest. Hindi kita napansin dyan. Ayan. I-sineshape ko muna siya. Tinitignan ko kung tama ang proportion mula sa pinaka-dulo Importante kasi ang pagiging proportion ng dalawa. Malaking impact ito. Ayan. Mukha namang okay. Kunti pa. Medyo matagal talaga ang paggaganito. Pero pag nakuha na eh, sa unang gawa, matututo ka na. So, the, the second time you doing it, since they are the same design, they have the same design, you already know what to do. Just like last night, I posted it on Facebook, but it's quite rounded. rounded. So, I, rem I cut out some, I trim off little clay on the side to make it 
triangular and do the do some refinement <coughs> okay and then i'm now pressing the back to shape give it shape of the triangular Okay, just like that. Fixing it back and forth until you achieve the perfect shape. Though there is no such thing as perfect unless you mold it to replicate the first finish one okay like that gamit na gamit ang mga tools na ito talagang pangarap ko ito hindi lang ako makabili kainis very difficult to find tools here in Saudi Arabia okay comparing it Mm-hmm. I need a little clay on the middle. On the middle. You can see me doing some techniques here in how on how to repair and fix flaws because on my tutorial video I got all of those prior to a straightforward tutorial because I don't want to waste your precious time okay just like that so now coming in shape Brother Ernest, nandiyan ka pa ba? Okay. Now that I got, I think I got the final shape. Yeah. Comparing it again. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay. The more thinner the tip, the better. Let's put some music on the background.
Ano bang maganda? Um, okay. Ayan. Do you hear the music on the background, guys? Para hindi naman tayo sad. Pero sad yung kanta. Brother Curve, naririnig mo ba yung music sa background? O lalakasan ko ng konti. Ah, dinig pala. <laughs> Parang pang romansa, eh. <laughs> calming, eh. Calming. <laughs> Oo, okay. Sarap, di ba? <laughs> Ayos. Parang sinasabi, pasok-pasok lang. Ang tahimik kasi. Ayan. Nakuha ko na ba? Tingnan natin. La 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 la. Okay. Okay. Actually, I'd like to mold it, but <clears throat> it's better to show you guys how did I make it in actual raw video, not edited one. Si, ano, pangalan nito, si Brother Just, busy siguro. Nakakapanibago mag-live. Ganito pala. Okay. Pukang okay nga ako dito. Masaya na ako sa result. Oh. Kunti pa. Tabas.
I mark all where yeah. I do this to mark where I put these bumps in his arms. Okay. Again, again. Again and again. I make a very thin noodle of clay and cut small pieces. Just roll them over. to make their ends a little bit narrow. You need to have a big, big patient for this job. But I always love the result. There we go. But I need a little more.
Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Where are you, brother Bond? There you go. I don't have a vice grip. So I use rubber bands to hold the end of my plier, the handle of the plier. And then attaching them one by one. The first layer of these bumps are actually a little bit dense, denser. Okay, I like them to be There you go. Okay. okay. They are too small. I change them. Thank you. 
<laughs> Nagsaing <laughs> Ang mga sinumpaang tukul Yan huwag kakalimutan Ito, ongoing pa rin ang sungay Sa sungay Asa na? Oops Punting taas I always use the finished one as a guide. I can mold this one, but I'd like to show you guys how I make it. Just like that. Tanana, na exact, 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 exact. Oh, so brantas na isa. Mga kunti. There you go. Again, check ulit. So, nakalinya, nakailagay na lahat. Now that all of the bumps are in place, it's time to blend them to the horns. Using my personalized explorer tool. And again, I, guess I am not able to find my one in the store. So I make my one, my personal, my do it yourself. And yes, do it yourself. Just like that, blending all, you can see it in the video, in the camera. Okay. Oh, Anja Fransen. Welcome, welcome to my live tutorial. 
I hope you like it too. This is my first time, so bear with me. There you go, one by one. I will hold it like this way. I know all you guys having the same trouble as I am, especially when positioning the one you sculpting in your hand. Where to put it, where to position it. It's very difficult sometimes. Patience, patience, patience is what we need. Artists do need patience. <clears throat> a little stretch and yeah okay
Aha, there you are, Mr. Just, 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 Habi. Kanina pa kita inaantay eh. Just Habi, another sculptor must to follow. He also did a good uh, creations in his channel, guys. Please. Follow him, subscribe, you may learn a lot as well. <laughs> Kumokontra yung isa. <laughs> Parang may nag-object ah. <laughs> Mga busy tayo lahat eh no, nag-aabol sa biyernes. Hopefully this Friday all our prepared creations will be uploaded. Inuna ko ng pinakamahirap sungay. Totally. May template naman. Nasa work. Ah, oh, shout out. Clever one. Huh? Ah, kaya pala. Maraming mga i-inneksyonan. From home, see, clever one. Buti pa si clever one, relax. Nakakainggit. Singit sculpture, oo. Oh, oh. Clever one. <laughs> oo nga eh, nakakainggit. Kainis siya. Ma beauty pa siya, ma beauty pa siya. Okay, compare ulit, compare ulit, baka may mali. Pangdeng. Okay. Konting pa push push lang, push push. <laughs> Para ano, pang suwag. Sino susuwagin mo? Si Brother Curbs. Ang mahira ang matindi sungay yung kay Kuan eh. Uh, the Hellboy, Hellboy. Parang ganito rin yata shape nun eh, no? Tama ba? Mm -hmm. 
details, details, details. Sige, details pa more. Maduling na tayo sa details. Susuwagin ko tong doktor ko eh pala. Ah. <laughs> Oo, gawa ka. Gusto kong makita. Sungay-sungay tayo ngayon. Gawa kayo yung may mga sungay-sungay dyan. Ano pa bang? Si ano, pangalan nun? Yung kapatid ni Thor? Loki. Loki. Di ba may sungay yon? O kaya para mas masaya si ano. Hela. Nako, matindi 'yon si Hela. Loki, oo, Loki. O natatandaan pa pala natin. May sungay na ginagawa ko. Kailangan ba equal? Ah, grabe naman pag symmetric niya sa kailangan ba equal? Sabi sa libro, ay oo, sabi ng aklat ng kasulatan. Kailangan eh talagang equal. Ikaw sir ha, ina-architect mo ko. Eh ano? Nako. Mahirap na. Konting tabas dito, konting repair doon. Yan, palaging ganyan lang ang technique ko eh. Kunting trim, kunting ganyan. Dagdag bawas, dagdag bawas. Kasi pag ganito, hindi mo mapay perfect eh. Unless mag-molde ka. Tulad nung ginawa ko dun sa ano, tarantula nakaraan. Yung mga legs niya na iba, tinamad ako, minolde ko. Ba't ko papatayin na sarili ko, di ba? many sculpture to do. Yung kapitbahay namin, may sungay yun. Gusto tang... <laughs> Gano'ng kahaba yung sungay na yun? Pambihira ng mga kapitbahay yan. Lahi yata ni Hellboy. Guys, di naman ba nakakainip itong ginagawa kong video na ito? Kung kayo manonood, di kayo naboboring. Yung tapat, ah, yung tapat. Ganito talaga ako magtrabaho, eh. Mabusisi. Pero gusto ko naman, masaya ako. Sige, sige. Ineksyonan mo nga sila. Yung mga pampakalma. M mga pasyente mo riyan. Oo nga. Uh, brother Curb. Minsan, eh, talagang may ganun tayong time na parang daldal lang tayo daldal. Nakakalimutan natin may ginagawa tayo pag nagla-live. 
Hindi man ako nagla-live pero minsan kasi di ba nagre-record ako ng video para sa tutorial. Minsan daldal ako ng daldal. Lalo pag may dumating akong kaibigan dito. Nakakalimutan ko din may ginagawa pala ako at tapos gumagana yung camera ko. Lumakad na pala yung minuto, hindi ko na off. And then, ang dami kong kinakat pag nag edit Maririnig ko yung sarili ko, natatawa ako. Daldal na daldal. Pero may time na kahit may kadaldalan ako, lalo pa akong ginaganahan. Lalo pag nagpe-painting. Ano yun? Gawa ka, stream your account. Ah, oo, oh, sige pa. Gusto ko nga matutunan yun eh. Subukan ko, mamaya, try kong hanapin. StreamYard, oo nga pala. So, iba pa pala itong sa <clears throat> YouTube Studio, ano? Siguro tapusin ko lang itong sungay na ito, bukas ulit. Eh, makapag, ano, demo, demo naman siguro. Kasi ayoko na ipakita yung susunod na ano yung paggawa ng katawan medyo magko-concentrate kasi ako dun baka di ko magawa kailangan ng mega 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 power tapos yung mga tugtog ko tol, ayan mga op opera Yan, mas ganado ako sa ganyan. Parang feel ko nasa teatro ako eh. Mga studio ni Leonardo da Vinci. Para pwede tayong mag-collab. Ah! Yung ba yun? Yung gusto ko yun. Sige, sige. Uh, hanapin ko ha. Tapos tayo tatlo, no? Gusto ko yan. Maganda yan, masaya yan. Doon ba sa StreamYard na yun eh, mag makakapag ganito tayo na may, may lahat na yun nakakapag-usap through microphone? O by chat lang din? O may specific host? Ah, nakakapagsalita din doon para di uh, na ako nagchacha. Oo nga. Iniisip ko nga din maganda sana ganito eh yung nagsasalita tayo parehas para hindi na nagtatype. Buti sana kung meron yung sinasalita mo tapos tinatype na ng automatic ng gadget, ano? Yung alam ita, ita translate niya into text. Meron ba ganoon? O imaginasyon ko lang 'yan. Sa Google, ata, yung voice prompt, voice search ba yun? Ang problema lang pag nag-video ka at nag i talagang minsan naawawala ka sa frame ng camera, ano? Kakainis, minsan hindi mo na nare-record yung ginagawa mo. The pain's taking work is here One by one Fixing all the flaws Blending here Blending there It's smooth, it's smooth, it's smooth This smooth it out, this smooth it out. Talagang sarap na sarap ako sa mga tugtog na ito. Ewan ko ba? Simula nung binata ako eh. Paborito ko na itong mga tugtog na pa piano piano violin ganyan may pagka classic talaga ako 
At yung mga songs ko matatanda. Ang weirdo ko, no? Mm, mm, kaso ibang app yun, tsaka wala nga yun sa... Oo, oo nga. Inadjust ko tong camera kong nabili na ito eh. Sa totoo, binuksan ko muna bago iniikot ko yung lente niya. Kasi nung unang bili ko, nagkakakaw bakit blur. O, oh, masabi ko. Nakalagay sa box eh, HD, HD daw. Eh, ba't ko? Tinignan ko blurred naman. Hindi, ko, hindi nga kikita yung mga detalye. Kaya hindi muna ako nakapag-live eh. Actually, nung pambiernis dumating ito, Pangarap ko talaga ito rubber tip tool na ito. Gusto ko pa rin makabili ng talagang tunay. Sana makakita ako. Hindi, <laughs> bilhin. <laughs> Ninakaw ko sa budget. <laughs> Logitech cam. Webcam. Ayos na rin, pero pangarap ko pa rin yung mas malinaw, lalo sa mga ginagawa ko maliliit para makita ng mga viewers. Matuwa-tuwa naman sila. Ito ba malinaw ang dating dyan sa'yo? Kita mo ba yung mga pinagkagawa ko dito? Baka ako lang nakakakita dito. Sinet ko kasi sa near focal yung ano niya, lens niya para talagang kita. Ah, malinaw naman pala. Oo, ayos naman pala si Logitech. Ah, sige, 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 kain ka muna. Salamat. Anong ulam nyo? Mukhang masarap ah. Tusino ba dyan? May tusino? Wow, sarap. Suka ang katapat niya. Suka. Oo. Naku, nadali. Sige na. Kain muna kayo. Salamat, ha. Lapit na matapos ang sungay. Okay, now the horn is in shape. I'm just adding the ridges on the side of the horn. But I am making sure that <clears throat> this, this inside, you can see in the camera, this inside part of the horn is... A little concave like it's not rounded one but on a concave one do you see it okay just like that
And again, comparing it to the other one. And I think the base is a little bit thick, fatter. So I need to trim again. I think it's a little bit thicker here, so...
blend it again. I reduce the inside clay because I cannot touch the surface already detailed, the detailed surface. So I cut it open to remove the underlying clay. And trial and error. And that's it. I achieve what I want. Forgivable. The clay is really forgivable. It's not too late. Do not destroy. You can just destroy it when you already bake it. Because there's no turning back once you bake it. So before that, make sure all the, the proportion, the details that you want, is what you really want. If you're not in a hurry, then take a look at second time every time you bake. Then you can see all the errors. You may be able to you may able to correct them in an early time. And I think it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. And yes, I like it. Now it's time again to I'm happy with their size. I think they're good.
Now what I do is Oh uh, you don't speak English Um even your name I cannot understand as well Can you write your name on in in, in English So that I can mention you my friend Uh, is that a Bulgarian alphabet? Am I correct? Okay, what I did here is I cover it with cling wrap and add those ridges. Do you see them? Okay, okay. Ridge. An indication of the horn's layer as it grows. I put last plastic wrap because it make all the lines a little bit smooth and rounded, unlike using it directly into the clay that makes it that leaves uh, rough edges on it not okay not so smooth and uh, you don't have to clean it with alcohol or smooth it with alcohol i mean because this alone is leave, leaving a good details just like that <clears throat> tip of the horn there you go and it's time to reveal those details I added Do you see them guys? There you are. There they are. Okay.
And there you are. The horns are finished. I need to this a little bit less. Okay, that's it for today, guys. The horn of Ibex is finished. I don't have to brush it with alcohol since I cannot find any fingerprints on it anymore. So, yeah, it's okay. Fine, no need to. Okay, so see you again next time, guys, for another live tutorial. And now I'm gonna say goodbye for a moment. We'll see you again next time. We'll update you when this Ibex is in the half of sculpting completion in the half of the completion. The horn is done. Halfway to completion. I will update you again. Okay. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. See you again. Bye.